Okay, so we're here backstage at um, the f just before the first event for Camden Crawl Dublin. I'm here with Ty from New York, New Young Pony Club. Welcome to Dublin Glamorous Dublin. Thank you. Very <laughs> glamorous. Um, so this is the last glamorous spot in a string of kind of glamorous spots that you guys have been recently. You've just come from Sri Lanka. Yeah, no, we just did a gig for um, Electric Peacock in Sri Lanka, which um, is quite a new festival. Um, we played with Tiny Temper and um, yeah, that was pretty extreme. Actually, we got only got the call sort of last Tuesday, not the Tuesday that's just gone, saying, can you play on, on um, Saturday night in, in Sri Lanka? So we just literally kept got off a plane from Rome and were like, yeah, sure thing. <laughs> and flew over there so you know which was a lot of fun obviously worlds away from from dublin but um you know it's nice to be kind of playing the new stuff with people and you know we've got album three coming up soon so oh yeah, excellent when is that coming out um hopefully in october so we're going to play some new stuff tonight at um camden crawl dublin and hopefully people enjoy that and want to check it out when it comes out yeah definitely um so you were in russia before that were you doing like a big kind of tour or was it just it's not really about touring because obviously um we haven't put any singles out for the new record yet so i think it was more just because we hadn't we had about nine months of not touring anything of focusing entirely on finishing the album and i think we just wanted to play the new songs that people engage the kind of reaction before we kind of finalized what was going on the record so they've been like sort of what they call warm up gigs, I suppose, for the summer. Cool. Testing it out and seeing how it yeah, goes, exactly. that kind of thing. Um, so for the new stuff, is it a similar kind of vein to the first two albums or has it gone kind of um, slightly right turn? We always sort of change it up. You know, we, we, we can only do what we feel like doing when we feel like doing it. So it's very difficult to go into the studio to make another album and go, yeah, it's got to sound like The Optimist or it's got to sound like Fantastic Playroom. I think with the new record, it's actually quite minimal and adult and slick and very electronic there's barely any guitars on it so it's very different from the optimist yeah. but um you know that's that's sort of how we were feeling and uh yeah it's a really strong record we're excited about it coming out excellent you guys i think you have that kind of understated cool thing anyway like even on like tracks like ice cream which are absolute belters it's still yeah. that kind of you feel kind of cool listening to them yes well you know i mean i don't think uh, the irony of our of our band is that i don't think we were ever the cool kids you know, we weren't the cool kids hanging out in the leather jackets behind bike sheds at school. We were the kind of the swats in the music room trying to plug things in and learn how to play drums in time. So it's it's always it's it's nice that people feel cool and feel good and feel happy or feel feel anything really any sort of emotional reaction to your music is always fabulous makes you feel like it might actually last so yeah no that's awesome well certainly definitely last like i ice cream i play it in dj set still yeah. all the time it's just such a cool tune um so like kind of you guys have done remixes sarah's incredible drummer like one yeah. of my favorite drummers so, so with hot chip she yeah. played with bat for lashes yeah. um is that fun kind of like going off to do the different side project things and the remix and that sort so. of thing i mean um yeah i think we'd like to do more remixes we've always really just tried to concentrate i mean andy and i who are the sort of creative core of new young pony club have always tried to concentrate on the band first and foremost but i think you know as we become a kind of an older more experienced band this is the side project things that are a lot of fun obviously lou's doing tomorrow's world with jb from air now eagles you know been doing his own project for a few years and I think Sarah's always up for just carrying on drumming when we're in the studio. So it's nice to kind of see them sort of moving forward and it's inspiring to watch and it makes you kind of go, oh, maybe I should be doing a bit more of that sort of thing. Excellent. So will you be uh, sticking around over the weekend to see some of the acts or do you need um, to jet off? Yeah, no, I don't think we're going to have time, to be honest, because we're playing uh, Land of Kings on Sunday night in London, in Dalston. But uh, yeah, we're definitely going to stick around for the rest of the night and watch the bands who are on this evening. So... Cool. Yeah. Um, there'll be plenty of the cool kids in the leather jackets who hung around the bike sheds in Dalston, I would imagine, tomorrow night. Yeah, definitely, and we'll be avoiding them. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about this. I didn't know if you'd want to say it. The uh, twirly moustache kind of loafers with no socks kind yeah. of thing. Well, there is quite a lot of that going on in London. Um, you know, some you know, some of those guys are really cool and they don't take themselves too seriously and we're hoping those are our fans. Yeah, hopefully so. Well, I think there'll be a lot of that tonight, but I do think I'd like to stick up for Dublin hipsters. I would think that they do it ironically, that they're kind of laughing at themselves a little bit. Um, but it should be a really good gig tonight. Looking forward to it. Um, thanks, Emil, for talking to us. Thank you very much. Cheers. We are Phantom. 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 Phantom.